Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. November college visits are just about done, but mark your calendars for Thursday, November 29th, because we have several visits and deadlines. First, during advisory, the reps from Adams State will be here. Then at lunch, if you're interested in the Colorado Air National Guard, they will be here in the lower commons. Seniors, the 29th is also the deadline to submit your Daniel Scholarship materials by 4 p.m. On Friday, seniors, remember to sign up for the PPCC Application Day, which will happen next Tuesday, December 4th. December college visits kick off with the reps from Universal Technical Institute on December 6th. Students, this is the visit to attend if you are interested in learning about becoming a technician in the automotive, including NASCAR, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industries. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, if you are interested in learning more about the mill program, you can sign up to take a tour of the mill on Tuesday, December 11th from 10 a.m. to 11.30. This tour will introduce students to the mill program such as woods manufacturing, cabinet finishing, and construction. There are a limited number of seats, and you must sign up and turn in a permission slip in the counseling center before December 4th. Ladies, if you have been wondering if the mill program is for you, you should sign up for the tour and come check it out. The mill strongly encourages ladies to join their program and start honing your skills. Explore great career possibilities at the mill. Remember, college visits happen during advisory and at lunch, so be sure to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center, and if you missed any of these dates, you can always check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. And now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Cheyenne Gallier. Good Wednesday morning, GLADS. I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our basketball teams kicked off their seasons last night against Cheyenne Mountain, and here are the results. Hot off their amazing season last year, our Lady GLADS schooled Cheyenne Mountain with this score and even managed to make Coach Haas smile. Our men's team also lost many great senior players last year, but they came out with a strong start and despite putting up some great baskets, lost to the Indians. The teams have games on the following dates. Our men's team travels to Pueblo South next Thursday, December 6th at 7 p.m., while our ladies are back in Bowers on Tuesday, December 11th against Fountain Fort Carson at 7 p.m. We're looking forward to great seasons from both of our basketball teams this year. You should go out and support them too, like Rex's Rowdies do. In forensics news, our team traveled to Lewis Palmer High School for a varsity tournament before Thanksgiving break for Sophie Berger placed fourth in original oratory and Juan Mendoza placed sixth in original oratory. Laren Johnson placed fourth in informative speaking. This Saturday the team is headed to Liberty High School for an NSDA tournament. Best of luck to all our competitors. We'll have those results for you on Monday. Our Lady Grizzlyator swim team jumps back into the pool on Monday, December 3rd, to kick off their season against Manitou Springs at 4 p.m. If you've never been to a swim meet, you should totally check these out. In wrestling news, the team is traveling up north to kick off their first match of the season this Friday against the TCA Titans at 5 p.m. Remember, we have some ladies wrestling this year, so you should go out and cheer them on. Take it to the mats, gladiators. Glads, if you are in the market for some gladiator gear this Christmas, check out the huge sale at the school store. Most of the items are 20 to 80 percent off, but be warned, these prices are only good while supplies last. The school store is located in the cafeteria. You can shop on Mondays and Fridays at lunch, and Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays before school. And finally, tune in on Friday for Damon's Dose of Health, when Mr. Damon will talk to us about improving our social health. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. Have a great week. Now back to Kieran and Ethan for more news. Thanks for keeping us posted, Cheyenne. Today is the Power Club Pajama Day. If you did not get your wristband after the news, please ask to go to the main office to buy yours. All proceeds will go to the WSD3 Toy Drive. GLADS, over the next few weeks, we're going to be telling you about several fundraisers to benefit the WSD3 Toy Drive as well as the 180 Club Christmas Food Boxes. Both of these drives are critical to our community because they benefit our students and their families. If you are able to donate, please do so. Here's the information for the 180 Club Christmas Food Basket Drive. The club is trying to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school. Many of our students depend on school lunches to eat, so this is often a hard time for some of our students and their families. Some of the items you might consider donating include food for a typical holiday meal like fixings for green bean casserole, potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and box desserts. 
You can also bring in soup, including ramen noodles, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, or snacks like granola bars or pretzels, tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Remember, all these donations will go to families of students right here in our school. Bring your donations into Mr. Sickmiller and Room 5 so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. They will also take good old cash money. Thanks for your help on this very important event. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu. Hey! Bye. Asian beef and broccoli. Yay! With rice? And broccoli. Oh, I like it. I like broccoli. it already. Good stuff. I know you guys have tried it and liked it. Broccoli. And on Thursday, we're having... Meatball subs. Meatball subs. Meatball. See you then. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. GLADS, NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Come by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. They can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Listen up for these important yearbook notes. Yearbook prices will go up next week, but you still have time to take advantage of the $55 price by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com to order your book this week. Save yourself some money papers and order your book now. Seniors, if you would like to ensure the yearbook staff received your senior quote and photo and baby ad, check with Miss Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school. And finally, the yearbook staff is asking for your car photos. If you have an amazing photo of your car and want to see it in the yearbook, contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your photo in the yearbook. We'd like to wish good luck to the jazz band as they travel to Parker for the Legends Jazz Festival. Students will be gone from advisory until the end of the day. We know you will make us proud. Before we go, the marching band wanted to invite everybody to the first annual Mattress Fundraiser this Saturday, December 1st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come to the gym to check out the mattresses offered in a variety of sizes. If you need a new mattress, this is your sale. Come support the marching band. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.